Hey everyone, so today we are going to talk about notifications. So notifications are a really good way to inform you of important and time sensitive messages that may come to you uh, and it allows you to respond to them and see them while working on other important tasks. Uh, so th today I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to control notifications on your Mac. Uh, so to do that, go to system preferences in your dock and click on it. And as soon as you open system preferences, uh, you will see an icon on the right hand side called notifications and focus and click on that, which will open up the notifications and focus center for you. So here on the left hand side, you can see all the apps that are there uh, in your MacBook. And then for each app, you can customize your notifications as and when you want it. So uh, just going over some of the some of the controls that you can you can do for notifications uh, so for example let's let's click on calendar on the left hand side so this is the app and on the right hand side are all the notification setting for it um, so uh, you can uh, the very first thing that you can do is you can allow or disallow the notifications uh, so if you feel that calendar for you is an important app which it is for me um, i will allow the notifications for it and then going down, we can see the calendar style alert. So if you click on none, uh, the notifications will not come uh, onto your screen, but they will be available in the notification center. Uh, you can access the notification center by going to the top right hand side of your MacBook um, and clicking on the time and date option. And here you can see all the widgets and whenever notification will come, it will come here on the top but it will not disturb you uh, by coming onto the screen whenever it comes. Uh, so this is the none option. Uh, the banner, uh, it, it, this is a notification which will appear on your screen um, and it will appear in the upper right hand corner. So it will appear somewhere here and then go away automatically after a couple of seconds. So it will give you enough time to see what the notification is. And then if you want to respond to it, then you again go to the notification center, click on the notification and confirm. And, and respond on it. The third alert style, uh, calendar alert style is the alerts. Uh, so alerts uh, is different from banners in the sense that they will stay on the screen until you dismiss them. So uh, for example, if you feel that uh, you want to respond uh, to, uh, you want to respond to a notification uh, and you know, you don't, you don't want it to go away. You want it to stay on the screen for a particular app such as iMessages. You can choose alerts and when the notification comes, it comes the same way as banners on the top, top right hand corner of your Mac, uh, but it will not go away until you dismiss it. So these are the three styles that you can have your notifications in. And then there are some other options in here. So allow time sensitive alerts will uh, allow the time sensitive alerts to come to your uh, uh, to come to your uh, uh, to, to come to you as a notification. Uh, you know whether or not your computer is in uh, a, a whatever mode. Uh, the notifications on lock screen is uh, it will enable you to show the notifications uh, when your system is locked. Uh, show a notification center. Is an option that you can allow if you want your notifications to go into the notification center but if you just want it to if, if you just want to see it uh, and you don't want it to clutter up your notification center that you can just disallow this the batch app icon is is something that will show the notifications on the app icon of your app so for example uh, if we see in the doc of this MacBook, you can see that system preferences has two notifications, uh, which is highlighted here, and then reminders has one notification, uh, which is again highlighted here. Um, and then the last one is placed on for notifications. This is like a uh, auditory aid, which will help you in in uh, figuring out if notifications has come when you're not on a laptop. The other settings that here uh, that are here are show previews. So by default, it is uh, when unlocked. Uh, so you know uh, when your computer is unlocked, it will it will show you a preview of what the notification is. Uh, if you do it always, then even if your computer is locked, it will show you uh, what the notifications are. Uh, and then if you click on never, uh, then it will uh, it will only show you that a message has come. 
uh, or an, a, a calendar alert has come but it will not show you what the preview of the same is. As far as the notification grouping is con uh, concerned, uh, you can either do it by app. So uh, all the notifications from one app will be uh, combined together. You can do it automatically. So uh, the, the MacBook will figure out how much space is there and then optimize according to that. Or you can like just make it off in which the MacBook will display all the notifications individually. So this is uh, how you can take control of your notifications. Uh, you know, uh, you can make sure that the important apps uh, have the uh, uh, notification set up as alert. Uh, you know, uh, the others have uh, it as banners and the unimportant app apps have it as none and the and and the and the apps from which you receive a lot of not notifications uh, you can just set set them up as like banners and then this allows the show in notification center so it will help you declutter your notification center as well uh, and this is how you you know take control of notifications and customize it by app which are important to you and then uh, when you go down uh, these are the uh, these are the global uh, settings that you that you have so for example for show previews when unlocked if you do it as never uh, it will be never uh, for all the ones and if you uh, do it as when unlocked uh, it will be like unlocked for all the ones so if you want to change all the settings you can ch change the global settings for show previews by here um, and my recommendation just is to only do it when unlocked uh, for the apps which may send some private messages to you uh, but again it, it depends on what what you want to customize it as and then the last one is allow notifications when the display is sleeping uh, mm. so even when the display is sleeping you will get a notification uh, you'll get a sound for the same uh, when the screen is locked also you will get a notification uh, but depending upon whether the preview is locked or unlocked you'll get either the preview of the notification or like a notification saying that you've got a message or a calendar alert uh, and then when mirroring or sharing the display uh, is when you connected your pc to another screen uh, you can allow or disallow this option depending upon whether the screen is public or private uh, so this is a, a preview and a short summary of how you can use the notifications and focus center.